This is a short demonstration on where to find your instant access book or otherwise known as your bookshelf book. For instant access courses, students have already paid for their book. The book is located in the Canvas course. This is an example from a marriage and family course from summer 16. You will want to go to the course where the book is and you will want to go to this course menu here on the left and click on bookshelf. When you click on bookshelf, the bookshelf interface opens up. If this is your first time to click on bookshelf in that course, it will ask you to complete registration. It will lead you through the complete the registration process as long as you use your school address. If you are a Heinz student, you will use your Heinz email address. If you are an a different school like Holmes or Pearl River or Mississippi Gulf Coast, you will use that school address to complete the registration for your bookshelf book. And once you complete the registration, you'll it will look just like this with the picture of your book for that course. If through this complete the registration process, you are asked for a code, you have not used your correct school email address. Alright, so once you have completed registration, in order to access your book, you click on the picture of your book. And it takes a few seconds to load. The ebook access uh, interface looks just like this. Um, you can click on the main menu here. This is where you will download your book. This is the downloadable version of your book. You can download it to five devices and you can um, um, go to the, your library if you have more than one book. You can actually choose highlighters here. There's a highlighter tool and you can add them so that you'll have different highlighters for different things in your book. You can go to bookshelf and you can, the most important thing is you can click on support. When you click on support, a new tab opens up and you will see where there are tutorial videos on how to use Vital Source Bookshelf on all supported devices. You can download the bookshelf and you can get to customer support. There are some popular support topics at the bottom of this interface. If you click on video tutorials, you will see that you can select a video, you can create your bookshelf account, which you've already done by completing registration. You don't need to do that. You don't need to redeem an e-textbook code because you've already done that. But you can actually access Bookshelf Online. And there's a lot of different topics to watch. You can click on Bookshelf Downloadable and there's a lot of different tutorial topics to watch and Bookshelf Mobile. You have an option of different tutorials to watch. There's a transcript for all videos and if you want to get back to your Canvas Bookshelf you just click off of that um, tab that opened up. Remember that if you want to get to the main menu that's the icon right there and you open and close it by clicking on it. If you want to search your ebook, you can click here and you can actually search the book contents. Anytime you see an X, that closes that option. If you want to see the table of contents for your book, you can click on that icon and the window is, you can make it bigger or smaller. This is the notebook and you can actually take notes from your book and highlight them. And then if you want to look at pictures and tables from your book, that's the picture and table. Now, how you get rid of all this so that you can actually read the book, remember to click the X's and that will close the different icons that you have clicked on to open them. There's lots of different tutorial videos and if you want to learn how to use the notebook tool or share with people in your class, click the main menu, click on support, and then click on video tutorials. You'll have to choose whether you want to use your online book, your downloaded book, or mobile, and you can actually see what options are available to you there. Remember when you want to go back, you just click off that tab and it takes you back to the original tab where you were. 
So when you log off and you come back into your course and you land on the home page, don't forget that your bookshelf book is located in the course menu to the left and all you have to do is click on it. Once you've completed registration one time, you'll never have to do that again. And to access the book, remember to click the picture of your book and the bookshelf interface opens up. I hope this helps let you know how to quickly access your bookshelf book and to look for tutorial videos. And if you need any help, please contact your instructor.